till now we have discussed the functional uh, like the structural of uh, rods and cones and next when we see the functioning of eye how does eye function so how is eye able to sense the information is when we when we see in this picture when uh, we have already discussed the parts so in this when we see in this picture we can see that the uh, this is the outer part of the eye and this is protected inside the skull and the when the light enters into the eye so here we know it has an aperture what is that aperture called as it is called as pupil and the amount the aperture the dilation and constriction of this pupil depends on the iris so when the iris contracts when the iris contract the pupil dilates means increases in size and when the iris relaxes then the pupil constricts the size get decreased so when the light enters through the pupil and when the light falls on the retina so when the light falls on the retina the cells that are present in the retina that is the sensory cells rods and cones which are present on the retina will create an image and it will be producing a electrical impulse so that electrical impulse will be carried to the brain through the nerve called as optic nerve and this optic nerve is sensory in function and we also discussed that where the the point where the optic nerve is originating there are no rods and cones so as there are no rods and cones this part is called as a blind spot and if we put it in a flow chart that the functioning of eye the eye is picking up the stimuli stimuli is nothing but the light that enters into the eye and from the the stimuli it passes travels through the pupil enters into the pupil and it the image is formed on the retina so the retina which is having the sensory cells will be creating an image and this retina which generates the nerve impulses the retina which generates the nerve impulses will be carried to the brain by optic nerve so the brain will be analyzing the information so the image that is formed on the retina is an inverted image inverted and smaller image it is an inverted image that is form, formed on the retina and this will be carried by the optic nerve to the brain where the brain will be analyzing that information and it forms a three dimensional image a three dimensional image is formed in the brain and that is how we can appreciate the beauty of nature or we are able to see the uh, the things that are happening around us and next part if we see how the eye is protected the eye is protected so in the first uh, beginning of the session we have seen the external part of the eye so in this we have discussed that it is having we have eyebrows and eyelids and eyelashes so these will be protecting the eye from dust and uh, dust particles to enter i mean preventing dust particles entering into the eye and there are also glands that are present in the eye which keeps the eyes moist so keeping the eye moist is very important so the the glands that are present here is here you can see the tear glands one just above the eye to the corner here tear glands and here also tear glands will be present 
which will be releasing their secretions as tears. So, these tear glands are also called as lacrimal glands. The tear glands are called as lacrimal glands. So, how are eyes protected? They are protected by eyebrows and eyelashes and eyelids and the glands that are secreted that is lacrimal glands which are also called as tear glands. Okay. So, these will be helping in protecting the eye and if we see, so in this picture we can see, uh, I mean if you see this picture, are the lines straight or not? What do you assume? Do you think that the lines are straight? And if you see the next picture, stare at that and what do you see? Do you see, the, I mean do you think that uh, these circles are actually moving? Is it moving? No, they are not moving. It is just a slide where we feel that they are moving. So, this is called as illusion. So, what is illusion? Illusion is a pers perception. So, perception is assuming, assuming where the brain is tricking, assuming that these are moving. So, perception of a visual stimuli, a visual stimuli will be percepted which in a in an other way, but it is not in the same way. So, even though they are not moving, our brain is percepting or perceiving that they are moving. So, this is called as an illusion. And next, if you see the disorders of eye. So, what are the eye disorders that we normally uh, have a problem with the eye is? So, first one we are most com I mean we mostly see that uh, people wearing glasses like short sightedness or long sightedness. So, these are the conditions where short sightedness is called as myopia, long sightedness is called as hypermetropia. So, where, so how is this caused is when the ciliary muscles because as the lens does not have the property to move as in camera lens, the, li the lens can only be I mean the focal, the focal length can be changed, the angle of the length can be, lens can be changed due to the ciliary muscles and suspensory ligaments which we have discussed in the earlier, earlier session. So, these ciliary muscles and suspensory ligaments help in the changing of the angle of lens. So, when these are not functioning effectively, the image may not fall on the retina. So, only when the image falls on the retina, we can have a clear vision. So, when the image is falling before the retina or in this case behind the retina, there they are disorders. So, when it is falling before the retina, it is called as near sightedness which is myopia and if the image is falling behind the retina, it is called as hypermetropia or far sightedness. These are the most common disorders and next uh, disorder is night blindness or nyctalopia, night blindness or nyctalopia. So, what is night blindness? So, we already discussed when uh, in the previous uh, part where rods are very play a very important role in sensing the dim lights. 
so night blindness is where the vision during in the night is not clear we cannot see a blurred vision might be there or no vision might be there in uh, during nights so this condition is here if you see the epithelial cells will be covering the rods the epithelial cells will be covering the sense sensory cells which will not form an image and the nerve impulses cannot be generated which is termed as night blindness or nyctalopia the inability to see during the nights is called as night blindness and or nyctalopia and in the next part if we can see zero of talmia so previously we have studied that the tears play a very important role it keeps the eyes moist what happens if eyes are not moist so if the eyes are not moist the cornea which is formed by the outermost layer that is sclerotic layer will be tearing it tears due to the dryness the cornea tears and later it results to blindness so to avoid that the eyes need to be moist continuously if it is not moist it leads to a condition called as zero ophthalmia due to the tearing of cornea which leads to blindness and in the next picture we can see that uh, one more eye disorder that is cataract so in this picture we can see the normal like when the light is entering into the eye the lens is focusing the light on the retina but whereas if there is a cloudy appearance that has been formed before the lens a cloudy ring like structure which forms before the lens the light will be scattered in the inside the eye where the image cannot be formed so this condition leads to inability to see so this is called as cataract so cataract is a condition an eye disorder where the inside the eye that is before the iris a whitish ring like structure a growth will be present due to which the amount of light that is entering will not be able to form an image due to the scattering of light inside the eye and in the next disease glaucoma glaucoma so in this condition due to the pressure that is created inside the eye so the pressure that is created inside the eye it will affect the optic nerve which leads to blindness so uh, when the more amount of fluid is accumulated inside the eye it increases the pressure which affects the optic nerve and which in i mean which uh, gives a uh, condition where the optic nerve can no more carry the impulses to the brain which may also lead to blindness so in this session we have studied about eye and uh, if we recollect if we recollect the portion of the eye previous eye so if you recollect so what is the outermost layer of the eye it is sclera or sclerotic layer what is the middle layer of the eye it is choroid layer and what is the innermost layer of the eye it is retina so uh, what is the sensory part of the eye it is retina the aperture that is present in the eye which is form uh, which helps the light to enter into the eye is called as pupil and the movement of eye is due to which muscles ciliary and suspensory ligaments ciliary muscles and suspensory ligaments the chamber that is present before the lens is called as 
aqueous chamber and the chamber that is present behind the lens is called as vitreous chamber in which uh, the fluid that is more jelly in nature it is vitreous humor the chamber the uh, fluid that is present in the vitreous chamber that is vitreous humor is more jelly in nature and yellow spot is also called as fovea yellow spot is also called as fovea and i believe that you have understood this